so today I've got my favorite, current favorite winter uh, sunscreens that are fragrance free. I've got, I think I got nine of them. So ones I've really been loving during the winter. And a lot of these tend to be mineral ones that typically during the summer, they might just be too thick, maybe too hydrating. Maybe they're not elegant enough. Maybe they're just too much. So a lot of these uh, tend to work well during my uh, winter routines. So anyway, this one I've been repurchased actually. Most of these are ones I really love but haven't gotten to repurchase yet. Well, a couple of these are, but anyway, the Peter Thomas Roth Max Mineral Sunscreen. Uh, it's tinted. It's pretty friendly tint actually. It's got SPF, what do they say, 45 in it. So I've repurchased this one a couple times now and it's fragrance free. Uh, it uses mostly zinc oxide, a little bit of titanium dioxide. There we go. I'm actually using it under my foundation today and I would say the tint in it's pretty friendly. It's uh, slightly hydrating. They also have a version, a matte version for oilier skin. I believe it's a chemical sunscreen though. So, but anyway, this one is really wonderful. Lovely, Pick, repurchased it. I'll link to it below. Next up, we've got the Summer Fridays uh, Mineral Shade Drops, which are really nice. They're SPF 30. 30 is about the lowest you want to go year round. Uh, the summer, I try to use 50 at least, but 30 is about the lowest you want to go. Even in the winter, you need to use a sunscreen. Uh, those UV rays are always kind of there, hanging around. You don't really know. It's, and you know, if, if there's snow on the ground that reflects up and can bounce the light up, so you're just better off using it all year round, especially if you're someone that uses acids or retinols or things like that, that makes your skin more sensitive to the sun and sun damage. Don't undo every good thing you do to your skin by not using sunscreen. It's just, it's just even though they're not the most fun, uh, you'll find a good one if you keep trying them out. So this stuff is really nice. And no fragrance in it. I'll link to it below. Okay, next up, I will link to this one at Beauty Bay, and that is the Hello Sunday, the one that's a serum, SPF 45. I will say, with the UV camera, this had the highest contrast of any of these sunscreens I've tested with the UV camera. On the UV camera, it literally came up black, which means it's protected. Most other sunscreens came up gray, or tan or blackish. This one was impressive and it is one that is very stubborn so you really want to wash it off but it is impressive and I've yet to get burned, tan, freckled using any of these products from Hello Sunday. I'm very impressed with them. Now recently they're coming out with more um, like masks and things like that. Most of those have a little bit of fragrance in them but so far their sunscreens are all fragrance free and uh, really wonderful so Okay, next up, uh, we've got the Niode Survival 30. Niode Survival, they have 30, 20, 10, and 0. The 0 is just a serum. It's not a sunscreen at all. The 10 and 20 have a little bit of sunscreen in them, but just not a number I'd recommend for anybody on a daily use. The 30 is where you want to go. So if you want to try Survival, you're either going to use the 30 or you're not going to use it as a sunscreen at all because the other two are just 20 and 10 are just too low. But 30 is amazing. Great amount of antioxidants in it. Uh, no fragrance, no denatured alcohol or anything else like that. It's a wonderful, amazing sunscreen. It really does a nice job evening the skin tint out. And uh, yeah, so if you're kind of lazy and don't feel like doing uh, any makeup or foundation, this one does a nice job with that. So, okay, next up, we've got a few more to go. The Dermatology Universal Tinted Moisturizer. This stuff is really nice. It's a combo sunscreen, meaning it's a combo mineral chemical sunscreen. Uh, use zinc oxide and oxidinate, which is a chemical sunscreen. It's really nice. It's kind of a dupe. Uh, the dermatology sunscreens are all really good dupe for Elta MD sunscreens, which are a little bit more expensive. And they come in a pretty good size. This is 1.7 ounces, when a lot of other sunscreens are one ounce. So far, I think all the other ones I mentioned are one ounce. So um, anyway, so this stuff's really nice. No fragrance in it. Shorter ingredient list. And dermatology always has a good sale on, so always check that out. Now for probably the most expensive one out of all of these I'm gonna mention, and for expensive, I don't know why they did a terrible job with the packaging, but that is the Tatcha, the Silk Sunscreen. The packaging is flaking off slowly every time I touch it, but it's still a really wonderful sunscreen with a nice tint, it gives you a nice glow. You can use it as a kind of a foundation or it works well under foundation. It's really nice. Tatcha does a great job with their sunscreens. I'm really impressed with this. It's uh, just a zinc oxide sunscreen, basically. So really great for sensitive skin as well. Okay, next up. So 
This one comes in three different varieties and I've been a little bit lax mentioning it. So this is their clear version. It's a Can Make Mermaid UV Gel SPF 50. They have a clear version, a white version, which is basically like they call it like a glow up version or it gives you, it kind of looks just like a white cast sunscreen to be honest. I wasn't impressed with it. The clear version I love. They just came out with a mint version recently. I finally had a chance to pick it up and that does contain fragrance. However, the clear version and the white version do not. So don't get the mint version if you have sensitive skin. Otherwise, the clear version is amazing. Combo, mineral, chem chemical sunscreen, great job. No fragrance, no alcohol, really wonderful product and very affordable. Although the bottle's tiny. Oh, it's not that. Compare the other ones, it's about the same size, so. Okay, next up, two more left. We've got new to this year, the Iunique Centella Calming Sunscreen with SPF 50. This stuff is really nice, no fragrance. It has Centella in there, which is a nice calming anti-redness ingredient. It's very wonderful. It feels just like a lotion. It works really nicely in my uh, morning routine in the winter as well as the uh, summer. So I'm really happy they came out with this. It's really nice. They did a good job with this. I think you guys should check it out if you have very sensitive skin. It's worth a try. And then last but not least, we've got the Kinship Self-Reflect SPF, what are the 32? 32. This one, I will say, it does have a scent to it. It has vanilla, vanillin, which is an action antioxidant. Vanillin is good for your skin. Uh, vanilla is a good scent. There are certain fragrance ingredients that have benefits for the skin while not irritating skin, and vanillin is one of them. And it's, it's just really nice. It's thicker on the thicker side, but really nice and hydrating for the winter time. So they have a they have a couple versions. They have this version, then they have a rose version. The rose version uses rose damascana water, which is a fragrance ingredient. So um, that one might not be great for all types, but this one is much more friendly and I love it. So anyway, those are mostly, a lot of these are minerals. So anyway, these are ones I'm loving so far this winter. Interest hearing from you guys. If you have any favorite sunscreens for winter, or if you use a different sunscreen in winter, if you just roll with the same one, uh, leave a comment and let us know what it is and what do you love about it. So I love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye guys.